Hello, good people. Welcome to Raw Vegan Rising. My name is Shane Sterling. How are you guys doing? Thank you for clicking on this video. I'm going to share with you an interview that my friend and mentor and colleague did with me in her membership, talking about the power of the membership to change our lives, to create financial stability, time freedom, money freedom, and location freedom in our life. Look, this video is about how to become financially self-sufficient. In our modern age, we don't want to be compromised, trading our time for money, susceptible to pandemics or natural disasters. If we bring our income online, if we make all of our money online, we can live anywhere in the world we want. We can do our work from the beach in Costa Rica or Bali. We can choose to have the life we want. And the great thing about online business is that it's easily scalable. I launched my membership, Raw Vegan Heroes, about a year and a half ago, and it's already up to 260 members as of today. It's created so much freedom for me, and I love my group. I serve my group every day. It's an incredible, growing community. It has become a movement. My group, Raw Vegan Heroes, has become a movement, and I'm swept in the movement along with it. It's so incredible to be part of community, to be connected, to have that purpose work fulfilled. Look, if we're going to be healthy, if we're going to be raw vegans and get our health on point, that includes our finances, our purpose work. We can't have a part of ourselves that isn't thriving. All of the parts of us have to be thriving. I believe the membership model is the way to do that in our current modern world. Everyone can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. I promise you, you can do it. If you have an interest, a passion, no matter what it is, you can turn that into a membership and help others be inspired or learn or educate or teach. The great thing about the membership model and why it works for everyone is because it's not about you. It's about a community. And everybody wants to be a part of a community. Say it's about, um, you know, philosophy literature. You start a, a group around philosophy literature and everybody comes together and shares their passion and it's the community that thrives. So this video, I'm about to share with you an interview with a colleague, a friend, and a mentor of mine, a woman named Heidi Easley, who helped me start my membership. Okay, this woman is solely responsible for why I have Raw Vegan Heroes today, and I just wanted to share this with you guys. So I saw her start her membership. She was financially struggling, trying to figure it out, trying to break, you know, have her breakthrough financially. She has a daughter and a husband. She was struggling. And I saw her launch her membership and she got it up to like 2,000 members. She's making $50,000 a month and she teaches paint parties and online paint parties. It's called Texas Art and Soul. That's her membership. She lives here in Texas. I moved to Texas because my membership has provided we, me with location freedom. I have an online business. I can live anywhere I want. And I chose to come to Austin, Texas as the backdrop for my success. I love it here. The fruit is good. The weather is good. This is where I need to be. And you could be anywhere you want to be if you have an online business. So right now, I'm going to share with you the interview Heidi did with me about memberships, how it works. Check this out, people. Listen to this. It's going to help you. It could change your life. I'm advocating because I know if you're a raw vegan, if you're an inspired person, if you're a health advocate, a health nut, if you're into personal development, personal growth, spiritual awakening, ascension. This is the model that we all need to be doing and there's room for everyone. Everyone can have a membership. It's the wave of the future. This is the ascension business model, okay? So I'm sharing it with you guys. Please enjoy. I hope this is helpful. Here we go. Hey, Heidi Easley here, and I am so, so excited to have my friend Shane here. Um, he is actually raw vegan, and we're going to be talking about how he started a membership in just one and a half years, went from zero members and an idea basically to 220 members in just a year and a half. So I am so excited because I want to share not only his story of how this has happened. So go ahead, as you come on, go ahead and say hi to Shane, but also... Y'all, tomorrow the workshop starts. The free workshop starts tomorrow. It starts tomorrow, and I want you to sign up for it because it has changed my life, and you're about to hear Shane's story about how it's changed his life. So welcome, Shane. Thanks for being here. 
Hi, Heidi. Thank you so much for having me on. It's my absolute pleasure to be here, talk to your audience and assist you today talking about memberships, which is like literally my passion these days. It's taken <laughs> over my life. It's all I think about is memberships, my membership. We can kind of get obsessed a little bit, can't we? Yeah. Well, it's changed my life. It's yeah. literally like it set me on this path to financial freedom and I finally see it and I can't believe how good it is and it's so leveraged and my life has so much time freedom and I, it's just amazing. So, Well, let's get right into it because I know. So tell us first off what your membership is and who do you help with it? My membership is for people who want to detox or eat raw food for healing purposes. So I'm a detox specialist. I help people heal with food. Okay, so they come into the membership because they need a group accountability. So for me, I put the whole value of my membership on the fact that they're getting a community to support them, not just me as a coach. I have years of experience doing this, so that's great. They love that. I have an assistant coach in the group too, but they get a whole community of other people who are just like them on this journey. So if there's any concern or trepidation or you know, not sure if they can do it, they've got a whole community, 220 members currently in my membership that support them. And so it takes the pressure off me to be the like leader or always to be doing presentations and this and that. And they just support each other. So yeah. uh, it's it's really mind blowing and I'm helping people heal. So that's my passion. And so I started my membership because it's my passion. It's my purpose work. So I get to work in the arena that lights me up most where I feel like I really have a legacy to lead, where I'm really aligning my values and my actions and walking my talk. Mm -hmm. And I get to make money passively. It's almost too good to be true. It's like passive income because I do one live stream a week into my group. And that's kind of the only work I do for the group directly. Now I manage some backend stuff. I manage some the admin stuff. I manage my assistant, things like that. But it's minimal work every day for, um, I mean, currently I'm, I think my membership's pulling in like $3,500 a month just on 220 members. So. Wow. That's, you know, that's a full time. That's somebody's full time. Like I always relate it to my teacher salary because I was making 3,300 a month teaching. And so um, I'm so glad you're, you're talking about how the community supports because I know in Paint Party headquarters and um, go ahead and do a shout out if you're in PPHQ. It is crazy how much they support each other. And um, yeah. that just makes me so happy. So I'm sure you have some similar stories where, you know, yeah, you're there, you're leading this. But, you know, how much are they ab able to help each other because they're in this group that's so targeted for what they want to do? Yeah, it's mind blowing. Actually, I ha I couldn't even imagine that it was as helpful for people as it has become. When I first started it, when there was only 40 members, I was the like, I was the show. I had to make sure everybody was getting their questions answered and their needs met. But as the membership started to get bigger, and especially as it hit the 200 threshold, it's really changed. And it has now become where I, I they don't even turn to me for the leadership and the and, and their needs being met. They turn to each other. Every day I'm seeing them post to each other, tag each other, ask questions mm -hmm. to each other instead of me. And I just come on once a week for an hour and mm -hmm. help create the culture of the group and the community and say, this is who we are. This is what we're leading. This is how we think. This is you know the healing message of raw food. But really, uh, they're completely self-sustaining. Now this has become mind blowing to me because now I'm like, well, what, well, wait, if I get, what if I get, you know, a thousand members or 3000 members in this group, then I'm making like half a million dollars a year and I'm not even working. They're, they're doing it for themselves. You know, I got a glimpse of this Heidi back in, um, you know, Shanda Sumter's groups and Marketing Mastery, how, how that was the first time I ever saw the power of a community supporting each other at that level. I saw it in this coaching group that Heidi and I were both part of. And the the, the value of the group was almost more in the other members of the community than it was in the lead coach. And that was when things started to just like click for me. And then Heidi, I just really have to give you a shout out for being so gracious and so generous. Years ago, you were helping my wife, Sasha, really wrap her head around the power of a, of a membership. And she wasn't 
even aware, neither of us were aware. And you really drove it. You said, look, you have to pay attention to this. And Sasha, my wife, hasn't started a membership. That message was for me. When I started to get the the, the click together of what a membership would mean for me and my line of work and my passion and how my personality kind of lends itself like to that model. Oh my God, Heidi, it's changed my life. It's going to continue to change my life and my family's life. The legacy I'm going to leave, the, the money that I'm going to make off this, the people I'm going to help, the healing that I'm going to help facilitate for thousands of people is so mind boggling. It's like, it's really so, so service-based. It's so like uh, personally meaningful to me. So you've been so instrumental and I just really have to give you props and a shout out and a big thank you for insisting, uh. <laughs> for insisting that I didn't know better, that you knew better here, like pay attention, Shane. And I did pay attention and it has changed everything. So thanks so oh. much. Well, I, I mean, you've done the work and I'm so, so happy it's working for you. I remember years ago, when um when I had first met Sasha and you, you know, years ago, and I I always kind of in my gut, I had this feeling of like I didn't want to um I I just always had this thought like I want to be able to offer something to people that's a decent price that people can pay for every month and I can continue to help them. And I think that's why um the membership model works so well is because you are able to help so many people and still leverage your time and still structure it to where to where you're not totally, you know, I mean, we work hard. I'm not saying we don't work hard. We work really, really hard, but it just makes it to where, you know, everybody can still have a part of it and they're not having to pay a thousand a month, for example. You know, yeah. I know in Pay Party headquarters, they pay 37 a month and we over deliver, you know, we have a whole team that helps answer questions and, and all of that has grown and I'm so grateful for it. And I think that, um, like, you know, it's not for every business, but you've seen in your business how much it's helped you with 220 members already and you're you're still brand new. And I think the reason I am so passionate about telling artists and creatives about this is because, you know, I am not I'm not seeing this with one or two people. I am seeing this with multiple artists and creatives with, you know, doing mixed media art, with doing paper art, with doing all of these different things. And it just makes me like want to go like we don't have to have the starving artist mentality. Like there's yeah. so much opportunity out there. So so can you talk a little bit about maybe what's the most exciting thing about having your membership now? Like what what is lighting you up the most? Well, you kind of just touched on it, actually, that I really am an artist. I have always been an artist. I'm a musician. I, you know, I write, I paint. <clears throat> I do like creative things in my life <clears throat> and I want more time for creative things in my life. I don't want to be bogged down by a job. And I always said that I am the worst employee. I just am not a good employee. I'm too creative. I'm like, not a good employee either, by the way. Yeah, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So as an entrepreneur, um, this business model really allows me to be creative and <clears throat> offer my product or service at such a low price and have fun with it and have time freedom. So my membership is only $14.99 a month, which is so low. And people are getting such incredible value for such a low price. Now that really lights me up because yes. I don't want it to be about how much people have to pay for this. I want it to be about how much people feel like they're getting from it, how much value. I want people to walk away from the experience with my membership saying, I can't believe how much value I'm getting for $14 and 99 cents a month. Yes. And so I have had people stay in my membership for the entire time. I had people sign up when I first launched it that are still in there. Lots of people, yeah. in fact. So I have these like super fans. I've created a great culture. I get to be the artist. I get to think creatively and I'm not bogged down by too much of the details. So it really supports me as an artist. And at the same time, all these people are getting so much value for so little money. Well, that's a win-win. I mean, that's yeah. what lights me up right now so much is seeing the win-win. They get incredible value. They get their needs met. They get their healing journey. I get freedom, time freedom. I get creative play in my work. I get to really connect with what's meaningful and doing it in an artistic fashion. <clears throat> and um, how could it be better than that? That's my dream. 
So yeah. every job that I've ever had has been the opposite of that. It's like I'm bogged down with time. I'm like working all these hours and none of that ever made sense to me. So this business model, the membership ha makes more sense to me than anything else. And I'm a coach. So I've even done, you know, private coaching where I trade my time for money on the phone directly. Like I charge $200 for an hour consultation call. That's my price. Um, and I do, you know, um, I do programs where people can sign up for 12 weeks of calls with me too. But I've changed all that. I literally was doing that for years and I've stopped. I've stopped trading my time on the phone because it's not worth my time. Mm -hmm. the, the membership pays me more in that freedom. So that's incredibly exciting. Now, I do still do calls because I like the bump of money and I love supporting people one on one. So I still do a little bit, but my vision is to get my membership up to 3,500 members, which you know is so doable, it feels so doable because mm -hmm. I've already gotten it up to 220 in a year and a half with no effort, just like completely passive uh, lead generation. And, um, and so getting it up to 3,500 members, you know what that means? That means I'm gonna be making $55,000 a month. Mm-hmm. And I'm not going to be working anymore. It's still the same leveraged model. So mm -hmm. I can't tell you how exciting that is for me that I could be making that kind of money um, for that structure of work. So my my daily work, my daily practice is so fun and creative. And I get to make that much money at the same time. And I'm yeah. not slaving away because I've been an entrepreneur my whole life. Like I've been self-employed. Like I said, I'm not a good employee. So I've tried so many businesses. I've started so many businesses and failed and lost so many businesses and gone into debt and gotten back out of debt. And this one is it really exciting for how it supports me as an artist and as a human being. Yeah, I, I love all of that. There's so much I want to talk about there. So one of the great things, too, about um, a membership model is you don't have to go into this extreme debt to get started with it. And I think that's really cool. And um, number two, there is so much um, like this opportunity that that you have, Shane, that I have, that all of these wonderful artists and creatives listening have. This is an opportunity that wasn't available 10 years ago. You know, and so I think a lot of times, you know, people are like, oh, I just don't know about this. And I'm like, this is something like our parents didn't even have the potential to do, you know, it, when they were when they were growing up or when they were going to pick a job or whatever. And I think how awesome is it that we can pick our passion? You know, I always like to. You know, a lot of times, you know, people tell me like, raise your price. You need to be doubling. You need to be, you know, even charging more. And I'm like, y'all, but you don't understand. You know, I want to be kind of like the Netflix of paint parties where, you know, it's a no brainer. Why would you not buy it? Because you're getting all of this for this small amount of money. And so then I get to be creative and I get to go hire more people to help and more graphic artists and, and go design better stuff. And it's like, like you said, it opens up this whole um, whole new world where we get to be more creative and we get to make more awesome stuff for our members versus just trying to like, what am I going to do? Oh, my gosh. You know, it's like we have that time and that space to, to make really cool things happen for our members. So I think I just want to reiterate the fact that, you know, if you're an artist, if you're a creative or whatever, you know, um, passion you have you can do a membership model. And I think a lot of times too, Shane, and maybe we can talk a little bit about this, um, especially since you know you, you do have that artist and musician background. I feel like a lot of times in the art world, um, it's, kind of, it's kind of shamed, like you're almost shamed if you talk money or you talk yeah. business. And mm -hmm. I think we need to stop because if we're sitting here being a struggling artist or, you know, struggling anything, like how many people can you actually help? But when you figure out, when you learn marketing, when you, when you devote as much time to your art or to your passion as you do to marketing that, think about how much potential you can have on the world. And I think we need to stop this, um, this conversation of it's not okay to talk about marketing. It's not okay to talk about money because that is important, right? <laughs> it is. I mean, oh my goodness, we all need money. We're all motivated by money, whether we realize it or not. 
So we have to be honest with ourselves. Plus, you know, the hard truth, which I really, you know, I always say to myself and with my wife and like intimately, I always say that it's selfish to be poor because then you're just in your own process all the time and you can't help anyone else. It's actually more generous to figure out how to make money so you can have an impact and help people and be part of communities and be of service and have a have a meaningful life. So really, money's just an energy. I mean, I come from a family of poverty. I my both my parents are broke mindset people. They are both almost vow of poverty type of creatives. You know, they were they raised in the 60s and 70s and the hippies and stuff and they think that money is bad. Like they really literally avoid making money. And it's such a shame because I think money for me feels like my way of being of service. If I can have money, then I can just make more impact. And so, Gosh. you know, and if we're really just pretending that we don't want money, we're just suffering inside and it does nobody any good to suffer inside. And it lights us up when we see how our efforts can help others. So my membership, I literally started it with, I was so scared to start it. I had no idea if it would work. I had no idea how to even do it. The first time I invited somebody and somebody signed up, I couldn't believe I had one member. I had one member and I was like, oh my goodness, one person signed up. I, and I just served that person. I was like, well, what does this person need? This one member who believes in me. And I said, well, let me just serve them. Let me, how can we serve people wrong? You know, mm -hmm. so that that's how the money started flowing for me is because I just approached it with like, I can't serve people in the wrong way. There's no way to do it wrong. And therefore it gave me permission to just serve more people. And, you know, there's that saying, if you want to make more money, serve more people. And it's like one of my mantras, the more people I help, the more money will flow. It's not about having money. It's not about collecting a ho and hoarding money. It's about a flow through our lives so that we're taken care of and we can take care of others. And that uplifts everyone. And the membership model is maybe the best way I've ever found to do that. Oh my gosh, I wrote down, I love what you said. You said um, it's almost selfish to be poor. And the more money you make, the more generous you can be, obviously, and help more people. And um, I never thought about that as like selfish to be poor, but it's so true when you're in a, when you're trying to pay your bills, you know, I remember many times going through the grocery store, calling Bobby going, do you really need that? Like, you know, I don't know if the yeah. card's going to go through. Like I've had so many of those moments. And, um, and I remember in those moments, like, I'm just, I'm just struggling to get the freaking paycheck, you know, to pay the groceries. How am I going to go help thousands of people if I can't even buy my family's meal that that week, you know? And so I think you're so it's so true, because when I was in that moment, I wasn't thinking about anybody else. I was thinking about yeah. how am I going to feed my family? I was in this rat race of, you know, need to feed the family or whatever. And so I think it's so, so true. Like, I love that. I wrote that down. It's almost selfish nice. to be poor. And when you can learn to make money and help your family, you can also help so many other people. Well, poverty mindset takes up a lot of bandwidth because yeah. we are struggling with how are we going to pay the next bills? How are we going to survive? And that takes up all of our energy. So as soon as things are covered, as soon as like you start a little membership and there's some you know cash flow coming in, all of a sudden now what your bandwidth is freed up for what? Your bandwidth is freed up to think about how you can make the world a better place, make your children's lives a better place, make your family and friends' lives a better place. And then our little circle of influence starts to grow out to others. And then maybe we help people that we've never met before. And then it, it grows from there, you know, and then we have a big impact all because we stopped being in this high bandwidth, you know, survival mode. Yeah. And it's so true too. like what you focus on grows. And um, that's why I'm a huge believer. Like I write letters to God, like I, you know, journal and just write things out because I think too, you know, a lot of, like you said, you know, it takes a lot of energy when you're always in this not enough, you know, poverty mindset. And I, I really, really like with artists and creatives, I love, love artists and creatives so much, you know, I am one. And, and the reason I feel like this is so important. And if, you know, and I've told people like, take the free workshop as you have paid for it. Like, you know, I know Stu's course, 
um, for Tribe. I know not everybody's going to be ready to take it. And they may not. It's around $2,000, just a heads up for those that want to take it. I know not everybody's going to be willing to pay the $2,000 to learn what me and Shane have learned through Tribe. However, what I would challenge you to do is I would challenge you to sign up for the free workshop and I would pretend like you have paid that two grand to be a part of that free workshop. And I would learn every single thing you can learn over the next. He basically has three different videos coming out over the next week. And that's the thing. Like if you're like, oh, but I can't afford this. Well, you can afford free. And why not learn some of these principles and pretend like you put money down on the table so that you take it serious? Because I find when people pay, they pay attention. Right. And if they don't pay, then they're not paying attention. And so I just challenge people to take the free workshop, see what it does. See if you you find some of these things like Shane's talking about, like what I've learned again, you know, from zero members to over 2000 members now. And that my wildest dream, Shane, was to have 500 members in Paint Party Headquarters. That oh, was like man. my biggest dream. Like if I had five, I was kind of like how you are with your 3000 goal. Like think of this. I remember going, think if I had 500 people I could help. Like I had no idea it was going to turn into what it did. Wow. So yours so is going to start. Snow yeah, yours will start snowballing because what happens is like the first year, year and a half, like you start figuring out what what's working, what's happening, and then it's just so cool because you start to really know, um, you know, what your purpose is, what your message is, and all of that good stuff. So you have some really cool stuff coming ahead. I can't wait. Yeah, I, it's starting already because the word of mouth is starting to grow. So other members are starting to enroll people. And so I'm just starting to see that, like hitting the 200 threshold. I, I see it is now going to start to gain momentum on its own. And that's really powerful. It's like a little bit of effort in the beginning leads. It just breaks through, breaks through and, and kind of opens up. So I, I was thinking, too, just to say that when we start, if you want to start a membership, if you like the idea, like what we're talking about, I started mine and I was terrified of it. I, I didn't know what to do or how to do it, but the idea of it really worked for me. I was like, oh, that's a good idea. I could do that. I could have a membership, but the how I, I had no idea. So I would just say we have to be courageous sometimes in our life and we really have to just act on impulses that feel right sometimes. If we're creatives and artists, we know what that is. We know when our intuition is guiding us to uh, something that's going to be good for us or the message we need to hear. And if the membership message is landing for you, trust Heidi, because Heidi changed Heidi's persistence in me learning the membership model has changed my life and my family's life and thousands of other people's lives who are going to be in my membership and are in my membership. So I would just say trust Heidi because it's real. <laughs> this is real. It's not made up. This is real. And it is the business model of the future. It's future proof. No one can take it away from you. Like, no, it's not going to crash when uh, the virus hits and nobody can show up at your business. You know, this is online business. This is future proofed information revolution business. This is what we all need to make sure that we are safe and secure in a new modern era. You know, this is it. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I know um, it's so funny before, you know, all the, the world shut down. I remember, you know, teaching people like, yeah, you should do stuff online. Like, you know, we had just um, released Outer Limits last year and it was all about, you know, the next level and getting people geared up for online. And oh, my gosh. And um, once, you know, COVID hit and the world shut down, everybody was like, oh, my gosh, Heidi, <laughs> we, you know, we should have already done it. And I was like, I've been telling yeah. y'all, like, I didn't know COVID was going to happen. But I'm like, y'all got to, you know, have many ways of, of income and, and sources like that. So, yeah, I think you're right. You know, this is definitely the the way of the future. And um, you see, um, you know, the big box people. I mean, Walmart is doing a membership now. Like, yeah, you know, every single um type of business out there is doing this type of model. So I'm so excited. I'm so excited you shared. So go ahead and um, share where people can find you because I know this is a bunch of one, you know, wonderful artists and creatives and painters, but some may be interested in learning from you yeah. through your um, raw vegan stuff. So go ahead and share where they can find you. Thanks, Heidi. 
Well, I teach how to heal and detox. So if people have like arthritis or inflammation in the skin, it's really about reducing inflammation. And now it can even reverse diabetes and cancer and really degenerative conditions. So raw food is a powerful healing modality. I know we like our comfort foods and it's, and it's easy and we get caught in these cultures, but as soon as we take responsibility for eating really healthy food, we can heal our lives. So that's what I support people with. And like I said, it's not just all about getting coaching around how to do it. It's about being part of a community who's also healing. So people come into Raw Vegan Heroes for support with maybe doing a juice fast, detoxing out the gut. I have a free uh, protocol on how to detox the gut to help reduce inflammation, joint pain, you know, hair fall, acne, any problems that people are really facing, lupus, Hashimoto's disease, hypothyroidism. I mean, all of these types of inflammation issues and autoimmune issues are really literally reversed with raw food wow. and juicing. Okay. So, but when we start a juice fast, you know, we might not know how, maybe we've heard about juice fasting. Maybe we've done a three day cleanse in our life, but this is how to reverse chronic degenerative conditions with juice fasting. And I've got it all free in, I have a free PDF on my website. So rawveganrising.com, rawveganrising.com is where you go. There's a free PDF on the homepage that shows how to detox the bowels. Okay, you can download that for free. It's instant download. And that really gives a, a glimpse at the how you start the detox process to reverse things like acne and arthritis, okay? And then from there, to get support with others on this journey, that's where you could join the membership and be part of that if you want. If you really have a health issue, I would highly urge you to look at raw food as a solution, okay? It doesn't have to be a forever thing. It's a temporary detoxification protocol to turn your health around and reclaim it so that you don't have to be um, struggling with your self-esteem or struggling with pain or struggling with things like that. Raw food is the answer. It's I'm 48 years old, just so you know. I'm 100% raw vegan. I have been for four years. Before wow. that, I've been 30 years plant-based. I've been um, on a plant-based diet since I was a teenager. And, I, you know, I'm 48. It, it helps. It helps with, you know, not just looking better, feeling better, reversing aging, just being at the top of your game so that we can be creative, so that we can start businesses, so that we can create money and abundance and flow in our life. The foundation is health. The foundation is feeling good in our bodies and making sure we're not struggling with things that hold us back. So that's what I help people with. And it's all on my website, rawveganrising.com. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I know. And they're all saying, wow, you look great. Oh my gosh, I thought you were in your 30s. <laughs> nice. 48. I'm about to go into my 50s. In two years, I'm going to be 50. Um, well, actually, a year and a half, I'm going to be 50. And people always think I'm in my early 30s and stuff. So it's just so yeah. fun to use the power of raw foods to like just do that, like, you know, dance. It's like a magic trick. <laughs> it's like a magic trick. It so is. Yeah, I love it. That's awesome. So, okay. So, um, go to raw vegan rising. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. Raw vegan rising and find Shane. Um, and then you can get a, a free gift over there too. And then also, um, for those of you that are jumping on, you're like, wait a minute, why is Heidi, the paint girl talking about raw vegan? <laughs> we are talking about memberships and how, um, you can take your creativity and your passion regardless of what it is, you know, so many times and um, over the past two weeks, you know, Shane, I have had people that are like, well, I'm not a painter. I'm a mixed media artist, or I'm not a painter like you, but I'm a, um, you know, paper crafter or a journaler or something like that. And I'm like, it doesn't matter. You know, you can, any passion you can take and do into a membership. So that's why I really wanted to bring you on, not only for your success, and with your, your membership of, of 220 members in just a year and a half, but how that has been able to change your life. And then I want to ask you one last question, and um, because we are leading up to the free workshop that starts tomorrow. So you have to make sure you sign up for this free workshop. And I want you to pretend like you are paying to sign up for this free workshop so that you won't miss a thing. And um, my last question, Shane, what does the future look like for you with this awesome membership you have? No. Oh my goodness. Well, I think the future for me really includes having a big impact in the 
healing community in the raw vegan community specifically. Okay. Cause the, it's, it is a community. It's a tight knit group of people who really have to turn to raw foods to heal. And so I'm rising as a leader in the field simply because I care about people. I'm providing a solution that helps people for $14 and 99 cents a month. I mean, people pay that for the cost of a sandwich out at for lunch every day. And it's for a whole month. Um, so I think what the future really holds is this membership is going to help position me as the leader, maybe even the leader in the world for the raw vegan message and the raw food message for healing, which is extremely exciting. Now, that's not something that I'm that's something that's developing out of this that I can't even control. It's like an automatic byproduct, which is really cool. It's positioned me as a leader, which I love. And then also financially, to be honest, I'm going to buy my dream home. I see it. I see it coming. I, I am going to buy my dream home. I mean, it's going to be over a million dollars. It's going to have a pool. It's going to have a big house and a, set and, a, and a smaller guest house on the property. I am picturing it. I'm creating vision boards. I'm calling it in. And as soon as I get my membership up, I'm going to have my dream house. And not only that, not only what it gives me, but it's going to be a win-win. It's going to be a big impact for helping spread the message of healing. So help, you know, that's my whole goal is a win for you, a win for me and a win for everyone around us. If I can do that, I know I'm on the right path. And so that's what the future holds creating win, win, win. And then I get to help other people create win, win, wins. Mm -hmm. And that just makes me feel like so on purpose and so fulfilled. So, and then I guess the last part of that, the future holds fulfillment for me as a human being, like really, really spiritual fulfillment, Heidi, which just, in, that's my highest dream. I want to be spiritually fulfilled and be of service and make money at the same time. Yeah. yeah. And, and that's the thing that's so cool is because God wants us to have an abundant life, you know, and I, I think, you know, the other day I did this exercise with um, some of the ladies in Paint Party headquarters and we, I gave them five minutes to write down what they wanted. And, you know, there's that, that movie called The Secret where, you know, it's like, how do you know what you want if you've never asked for it, right? You've never even said it. Like right now you're, you're talking unapologetically about this house you want. Yeah. Unapologetically. And I think especially in the creative space, we have this feeling and, and as you know, especially for women, you know, we're nurturers. We have this, this automatic, like I'm writing down, you know, my big dreams, you know, and I have these. I have some big dreams, Shane, you know that. And so I'm writing, down, I'm writing down these big dreams. And then as I'm writing them down, I'm like a little part of me goes, oh, I better put that just so it makes me feel like I'm a good person. You know, like, <laughs> oh, you know, like, and then you're like, wait a minute. Like, I, I feel like God has given us these big dreams for a reason. Yeah. And it's not like we have these feelings, you know, and I think sometimes it's hard for people to, to ask for what they want. Um, and, and it's hard for people to um, actually say it or put it on a vision board or write it. And I think that we're doing ourselves a disservice because now we're just wondering. We're just going with the flow of whoever says what, when, why, where, you know. And and my my big goal is, and I, I hadn't even, I wrote this the other day, but I haven't said it out loud, is, you know, we lived in Florida for 10 years and I so miss the ocean. I so miss the springs, all of that. And like, I love being in clear water. And one day me and Bobby were having dinner and we were like, oh my gosh, you know, we talked about like, you know, what if we go vacation, you know, by Crystal River where the clear springs are. And we just stayed there for like a month. And then Bobby goes, what if one day we buy a house there? Mm. And I was like, how dare I, you know, there's no way, like, no, there's no way. Like, I'm not that person. I can't own another home. Like how dare I, you know, no. And then all of a sudden we, we were talking about it and I was like, wait a minute, what if, like, what yeah. if in the future that could be our world? And then it started opening up more possibilities. So I think so many times we have to like, you know, we have to say it like you are proudly saying it. Yeah, no, it's taken me a lot of work to get to that place too, Heidi. Like I can speak with that unapologetic quality you were saying. That has taken me work of getting out of my shame and my poverty vows yes. that my parents trained me into. It's taken me so much personal development to be able to say with confidence what I am envisioning and what I'm creating. That has been part of my development journey 
to be a good entrepreneur and a good leader in my life. And it's not natural to us. It's not, our society doesn't support that. But if we practice it, the world opens up to us. We can manifest anything we want when we put it into our vision like that. So I always, my mantra is um, hold the vision, not the circumstance. The circumstances are out of our control most of the time anyway. We'll never get what we want with the circumstances if we're caught up in that. But if we hold the vision, no matter what the circumstance, like I want a house in the, by the springs in Florida, who cares how that's going to happen? Who cares about the circumstance? Just hold that vision long enough, strong enough, and it's going to manifest. That's yeah. the power of our mind and the power of our connection with God. When we man when we hold a vision, we're sending a signal to God to give us the abundance we desire. And God, the universe, the divine intelligence wants to fulfill that for us. The universe is constantly smiling upon us. It, we, it wants us to thrive. So it's up to us then to not let the visions of the uh, terrible society we live in sometimes so negative get in Very and tell negative. Us, you don't deserve that. Oh, you know, you're not good enough for that. Why would you deserve that? Who are you to have that? Those are the things. Who are you? But no, let's just hold the vision and not worry about the circumstances. That's what I do with my membership. Hold the vision of 30,000 members. Don't worry about how you get there. It's going to happen. And that's what I do with all everything in my life. And it, it makes me a powerful leader, powerful manifester, and someone who has, you know, money, success, fulfillment, spirituality, God in my life, all of it. Yeah. I love that. Okay. So, so for people listening who are like, okay, I want to start a membership and um, how can they manifest that? How can they get started with that? What would be your tip? I, you know, I have a, a zillion things I can say on it, but I want them to hear from you because, you know, they hear from me all the time. So what would you say if they're having these big dreams and they're like, yeah, that would be great. I want to create a community. I want to be the leader for that. What would be their next step? What would they do? The first step that I took was to start to create a following on social media so that when I pitched my membership, that th there was an audience to pitch it to. So my strategy was to start a YouTube channel, which is now up at 12,000 members or followers on my YouTube, which I'm really proud of. It's taken me yeah, a while to get to 12,000. Um, and so every video I make on YouTube, I say, come on, dude, I can help you join my membership. That's my passive lead strategy that's worked really well for me. It's allowed me to get my membership up to 200 people just by making videos on YouTube. And see, here's the thing. Provide exceptionally high value for free in a social media platform on video specifically, because, hey, let's be honest, we live in a video format world, okay? You guys are watching this video right now. So make videos, but give yourself, give your audience value, give people value. Take a little moment, make a list, put together details, do a little research on Google, put together a little list. That's what I do, just a couple notes, and then make a 10 minute video. Now, here's the thing though, you got to give people a call to action because if you provide value to someone, now you've just positioned yourself as a leader, okay? Now they're looking to you for the next step. So if you say, hey, you can heal your health problem with raw food, now what? Okay, they're like, okay, I believe you, Shane. Now what? Well, then you give them the solution. Well, join my membership and I'll support you with the process. So right. it's a service to give people the call to action. That's how I've built my membership. So give value and then give them a call to action to your offer. Your offer is how, your membership, you know, and that has worked for me. No money. It's cost me zero to start my business. And I went $200,000 in debt from my last business because I had grown it. It was making a lot of money, but the economy dipped and it flailed out from under me. And I went $200,000 in debt because of this business. My membership costs $200 a month for the website that runs it. I mean, it, it costs no money. So it's really just about you deciding you're going to have this. Now, I talk to people all because I'm a coach. I talk to people all the time and they say, well, if I start a YouTube channel or if I start making videos, who am I to talk about this? I'm not an mm -hmm. an expert. I'm not a, and this is a case of the who am I's, okay? Everybody's got this darn who am I's. But the reality is, is that everyone is ready to serve at the step they're at. To the third grader, the fourth grader is king, which means that the step Everyone is out in their life right now, no matter who they are, whether they're bedridden, 
with you know health problems or whether they're you know in college learning doesn't matter where you're at in life you are somebody's fourth grader all you got to do is talk about what you know and serve people get out of your own way get out of your comfort zone a little bit and serve if you want to get different results do something different serve people you can't do it wrong and by doing that you're providing value to people positioning yourself as a leader and then you get that unique ability to have a call to action to join your membership bam you got a membership it's that easy you know yeah Oh man, I love that. And I love that you started with one member and you were like, I'm just going to serve. Like I can't go wrong with serving. So for those of you that are out there and you're, you're starting this and you're nervous, sign up for this free workshop. You will not regret it. And then, you know, like Shane said, take action, you know, start building um, your following. I talk about it nonstop, like do Facebook lives, have them on YouTube, all of those things, because then you build this audience. And then of course, be ready to help and be thoughtful. Just like he mentioned, you know, he takes a few minutes before he ever films to, to make sure he's doing something that he can help people with. And I think that's the difference of people out there. They're just running their mouth and people that are actually out there thinking about what the other person needs the most. So that is very, very cool. Thank you so much for sharing all that. Okay. And G says, yeah, be the fourth grader. Love that. Yes. Everybody has something they know or they're passionate about that other people want to know. Um, I think was so, um, so like telling to me one time, you know, I thought, like just packing my car for a paint party, Shane. I thought like, that's not a big deal. But for, I remember when I went, you know, was learning this, I was looking at every, I found one girl, her name was um, the tipsy artist who was doing YouTube videos showing how to do these massive paint parties. And at the time there was nobody out there teaching how to do paint parties, how to, you know, build your social media for all of that stuff. And I remember I would pause her YouTube videos and like zoom in to try to figure out where does she put the brushes? Where does she put this? And so now whenever I go to film videos, I really try to be like, okay, I'm packing my car. Somebody's going to want to see that. You know, it's, it may be like just throw bags in, but people who are brand new, they want to see all of that. And so I think it's just really, really important. And I'm so, so happy you're having such great success with your membership and um, congratulations. You're doing awesome, Shane. And it's so, so, so fun to see. So I'm so happy for you. And um, okay, so any final thoughts before we go? They, It seems like everybody is loving it. <laughs> so yeah. let us know any of your final thoughts. Uh, well, I just really believe that this is a time in history right now, especially with COVID, where we have a unique opportunity to align, align our vision and our actions, align with the people that we need to be around, align with our tribe, align with our destiny, our service work. This is it. We've got the calling. We've got the platform. This is the time. So don't wait. You know, we know it's the time. So trust yourself, you know, drop the fear, drop, just be a little courageous. A little bit of courage goes a long way in our life and we can do it. Okay. Even if we don't know how we can do it, just take a little action, believe in yourself because I know each one of you listening has a unique gift, a stamp that God placed in your heart that is your unique gift to the world. And we need you. We need your gift in the world. You, we, you have to give it to us. I want to hear it. I want to see it. What do you have to offer? It's so valuable and so important. I really encourage everyone to get connected with their true gift, the one that was stamped on your heart at birth that you've had your whole life, that one. And figure out how to share it with the world. You know, we need you. That's my message. Oh, I love that so much. And I'm not going to mess that up in any way because it was perfect. <laughs> okay. Well, everybody, um, I just want to say thank you all so much for watching. We have so many great comments. Um, I'm sure me and Shane will both kind of go back and, and look at your comments. So if you, um, if you are wanting to learn more about the free workshop, make sure you type free workshop and we'll get you the link. It starts tomorrow. If you want to learn more about Shane and all of the things with Raw Vegan and how you can heal your body through food, go ahead and check out his information as well. So we are so excited um, to have you. Thank you, Shane, for taking time out of your busy schedule. And um, y'all have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye. 
Hello, welcome back. Now, are you guys fired up about the possibility of a membership in your life? Are you feeling it? Are you feeling how you could turn your passions into an income and have a community built around this where you can have financial independence and your time freedom and money freedom? This is it. It's time to claim it. You know, it's not easy. We got to walk through a threshold of fear and self-doubt without question. But we do that in our lives anyway. We're being called forward. If you're feeling it, I mentor people privately in my Raw Vegan Heroes Mastermind. Okay, my mastermind is for people who want mentorship with me, how to start their memberships and how to start a coaching business, especially as a vegan and a raw vegan. So you can learn more about my mastermind on my website, rawveganrising.com slash work with me. Okay. The link is in the description below. You can go check it out. Also join my membership, $14.99 a month. See how I'm doing it. See how I'm using a Facebook group to house the membership and to create the community. You know, if you want to learn how to do a membership, join mine and see and and be part of the membership because it's absolutely an incredible community that is turning into a movement. This is a movement. My membership currently is at 260 members and it's going to get to 10,000 members. I'm committed. I have the vision of getting my membership to 10,000 members. When that happens, I'm going to be having huge cash flow, huge influence. And so this is the path to our personal empowerment and sovereignty and getting on purpose and healing our lives, having, having it all, having the love and the money and the sexiness and the finances and just being the people we know we are designed to be. A membership is the key. Okay. I can help you do it. Links are in the description to my membership and my mastermind for personal mentorship with me on how to do it, okay? Much love to all of you. I hope this video was helpful. This is literally just service, service to you to get you fired up about the possibilities in your own life. I love you guys. I love all my subscribers on Raw Vegan Rising. I love all of the people who look to me for guidance and leadership. Thank you. We're in this together, me and you, okay? Sending you love beams from over here in Austin, Texas. Bye, guys. See you in the next one.